Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to embed Twitter onto your website. So let's just go right into your Twitter, and right here, you guys should look for your handle. It's underneath your name, all right? So just log into your Twitter, you guys will see that. Let's just copy that over. Go into this website, it's called publishtwitter.com. And yes, it's made by Twitter. So once you guys go into there, just copy and paste that into here, hit the arrow down here below, you guys have these two options. So what we're gonna do today is embed our timeline. We're not gonna add a Twitter button. You guys can do that here as well. However, what we want to do is embed timeline. So let's just do that. And right now you guys have this code. So you already generated the code for you. Here's my Twitter timeline. And that would be automatically updated on my website. However, if you guys want to customize this just a little bit more, right here we have that option. So I can set this up to a dark theme. All right, default link color. Sure, you guys can keep it blue or whatever color you guys want from here. So you guys could make it just like that or just any other color that you guys might like a little bit more. Maybe something goes more with whatever theme you guys have going on, on your website. However, blue is okay with mine. Language, automatic, blah, blah, and then just hit update. Once we hit update, the code has been updated and it's gonna look something like this. What I suggest doing for most of you is going to width and just typing up 1200. And that's the max width that we can go to. All right, we can't go any more than that right here. So let's just update it again, copy the code, and you guys are all done. Just go into your website, paste that code into it. So in this case, I'm using Muse. You guys can use whatever you guys want. I'm gonna insert my HTML gonna paste that here so that's how the code looks like so you can see it's very simple code and this will automatically update on your website so it's not like you have to do this every day or something refresh it yourself something that's just gonna happen and we can preview this right away so let me just hit preview all right and that's how it looks like of course I have to move things around a little bit I can actually even make this a little bit wider on my website, but it all depends what you guys want to do and how much you guys want to customize it. So I am gonna take this a little bit further in Adobe Muse and going to customize it a little bit. But for those of you who just imported the HTML code, you guys are pretty much done. So that's it for this tutorial. Now, Muse with this HTML, it's a little bit glitchy now, not the best because it does lag quite a bit. So if you guys scroll down, that's when you guys will actually see this. So click on it, then scroll up. And from here, we can drag it up because we don't want it to be that down, right? So we're gonna set this at 600 in width and we're gonna pin it to the middle. We're gonna leave everything else as is and we're gonna preview it. Everything should be okay. All right, so there we go. And it is responsive, like I mentioned before. So make this smaller, smaller, smaller. Everything should be good. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.